anthropology describes the coiling of a molecule of DNA. When you have completed this exercise, you should understand why the linking number for a molecule of covalently closed circular DNA, or CCC DNA, is constant. Understand the twist component of the linking number. Understand the writhe component of the linking number. And understand how cells utilize supercoiling. Note, many of the DNA structures shown in this exercise are meant to serve as models to aid in the understanding of twist and writhe. They do not represent actual structures found in living cells. Each of the chromosomes of eukaryotes is comprised of a single linear DNA molecule. Because their ends are free, linear DNA molecules can freely rotate to change the number of times the two chains of the double helix coil about one another. However, DNA molecules can also be circular. Examples of circular DNA molecules include most bacterial chromosomes, some viral chromosomes, and small bacterial genetic elements called plasmids. For such covalently closed circular DNA, the absolute number of times the chains coil about one another cannot change. These DNA molecules are said to be topologically constrained. Even the linear DNA molecules of eukaryotic chromosomes can be topologically constrained because of their interactions with other cellular components. Since each of the two strands of CCC DNA are covalently linked circular chains, and because they coil around one another, the strands cannot be separated from each other without breaking a covalent bond and opening the circle of one of the strands. The two strands could be separated if they were able to magically pass through each other. The number of times one strand would have to be passed through the other strand in order for the two strands to be entirely separated from each other is called the linking number. The linking number is always an integer. The linking number is an invariant topological property of CCC DNA. No matter how much a CCC DNA molecule is distorted, the linking number remains constant. The linking number is the sum of two geometric components called twist and writhe. Twist is simply the number of helical turns of one strand about the other. In other words, the twist number is equal to the number of times one strand crosses in front of the other strand. If CCC DNA is lying flat in a plane, the linking number is equal to the twisting number. If the twists form a right-handed helix, as in DNA under normal conditions, they are given a positive twist number. To determine if a helix is right-handed, think of it as a screw. You would have to twist a right-handed screw to the right clockwise to screw it into a board. Also, in a right-handed helix, the strand in front at a cross point is pointed up to the right. If the twists form a left-handed helix, as can occur under special circumstances, they are given a negative twist number. You would have to twist a left-handed screw to the left counterclockwise to screw it into a board. Also, in a left-handed helix, the strand in front at a cross point is pointed up to the left. However, CCC DNA does not generally lie in a flat plane. Instead, the DNA double helix usually crosses over itself in three-dimensional space, often repeatedly. This torsional distortion is called writhe. Writhe can take two forms. One form is interwound or plectonemic writhe. In interwound writhe, the DNA is wound around itself, forming a helix. Most CCC DNA molecules exhibit interwound writhe. The writhing number is the total number of writhes in a molecule of DNA. If right-handed DNA forms a right-handed interwound helix, 
the DNA must twist to accommodate the writhe. Therefore, right-handed interwound turns are assigned negative writhing numbers. Note that, although the linking number must be an integer, the twist and writhing numbers can have fractional values. If right-handed DNA writhes to form a left-handed interwound helix, the twist number of the DNA decreases. Therefore, left-handed interwound turns are assigned positive writhing numbers. The other form of writhe is spiral or toroidal writhe. In spiral writhe, the DNA winds as if around a cylinder. Spiral writhe often occurs when DNA molecules wrap around proteins. If right-handed DNA writhes to form a right-handed spiral coil, the twist number decreases. Therefore, right-handed spiral turns are assigned positive writhing numbers. Note that this is the opposite of right-handed interwound turns. If right-handed DNA writhes to form a left-handed spiral coil, the DNA must twist to accommodate the writhe. Therefore, left-handed spiral turns are assigned negative writhing numbers. Again, this is the opposite of left-handed interwound turns. Under normal physiological conditions, the average structure of DNA has about 10.5 base pairs per turn of the helix. Therefore, the linking number of fully relaxed DNA can be calculated by dividing the total number of base pairs by 10.5 to find the number of twists. This linking number is assigned the symbol LK0. If writhes are introduced to the DNA without changing the number of twists, the linking number changes. The difference between the actual linking number and LK0 is the linking difference. If the linking difference is significantly less than zero, the DNA is negatively supercoiled. If the linking difference is significantly greater than zero, the DNA is positively supercoiled. CCC DNA from both bacteria and eukaryotes are usually negatively supercoiled. Negative supercoils can be thought of as a store of free energy that aids in strand separation for processes such as DNA replication and transcription. When right-handed interwound turns in the DNA are relaxed, the twist number decreases and the DNA unwinds. Ask yourself, under what conditions might an organism need positively supercoiled DNA? DNA molecules with the same sequence and length but different linking numbers are called DNA topoisomers, since they differ only in topology. Topoisomerases are enzymes that change the linking number of a DNA molecule. There are two types of topoisomerases. Type 1 topoisomerases increase linking numbers in steps of 1. By introducing an additional twist, type 1 topoisomerases relax negative supercoils. Type 2 topoisomerases change linking numbers in steps of 2. Type 2 topoisomerases require energy from ATP hydrolysis for their action. By changing the handedness of turns, Type 2 topoisomerases change the topology of DNA molecules. Prokaryotes have a special type 2 topoisomerase called DNA gyrase. DNA gyrase decreases linking numbers in steps of 2. DNA gyrase is responsible for the negative supercoiling of chromosomes in prokaryotes. You have discovered a protein with an amino acid sequence similar to known topoisomerases. How can you determine if your protein is a topoisomerase?